Hello everyone, this is my video on the new agents of Atlas, the new Asian team that uh, came about during the War of the Realms, which was a couple years ago. I guess the day right now is August 2020, so that dates me if you want to watch this video later. Uh, as you can tell, Marvel is trying to tap into that Asian market, and so they chose this particular team. Some of the members are Asian American, uh, but others are, of course, directly from Asia. This particular comic, they really pushed hard. I can't remember, but they had some sort of incentive. Um, they might have even sent free copies. I think I looked up and the print run was around 65,000, which for today is a larger print run. Obviously not as big as some Batman ones, but uh, is larger. F over 50K seems to be a larger print run these days. Uh, although like Silver Surfer Black, like I mentioned in one of my videos was I think over 100,000, so. It depends on when you're when you're talking about for print runs, uh, but for a brand new team and unknown characters, it's a relatively small print run. Uh, this particular team, I'll just go through all the members and talk a little bit about it. So Jimmy Wu runs the Agents of Atlas, which is the Atlas Foundation. Uh, they're kind of like Shield. Uh, but he recruits all these different uh, players. And in the, in the beginning of the comic, you see them training together. Although there's some of the members of the team that have not joined quite yet. I'll go through some of the members uh, that are on the cover here. Swordmaster, he controls a mystical sword. Silk, you're probably familiar with. She uh, has powers like Spider-Man. Uh, Crescent Isle, this little girl with her mystical uh, bear. Shang-Chi. Uh, Luna Snow, who has frost powers. Bronn who is Amadeus Cho, who used to be Totally Awesome Hulk, and Arrow, who has wind powers, a Chinese uh, character. The other characters of note would be Wave, who does have a first appearance, but is not on the cover. She's the first Filipino superhero. Uh, so this one is a lot like Strange Academy in that it has a ton of new first appearances. You can get it relatively cheap right now. There are a number of incentives. Like I said, 65,000 was the first print run that I could that I found. Uh, there is a one in 25. I'll, I'll get those and put them up on the screen. And the one in 50. And those, the one in 25 isn't bad, but the one in 50 is definitely a little bit spendy. So this is one you might want to look at. Here is the second uh, issue. And there were four issues in the run. So like I said, 65,000, this dropped all the way down to 20,000. So you can see that this particular issue is much more rare. Uh, I believe that, oh no, I know this is the first appearance of Swordmaster and that particular character, I think supposedly was teased in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. I am a fan of that show. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to watch the latest season. So we'll see, we'll see if that's true or not. But once again, all these characters have potential. This would be his first appearance. This is a good one to go for. Oh, and this is back to the first issue. This is the second print, and there is a version of this, which is, uh, I think, a little bit spendy. Uh, the other variant of note is there was a Suyan, a Miko Suyan variant, which I'll put up on the screen, which I think was only released in the Philippines, and it has Wave on the cover. It's a really awesome cover. So coming out of that particular uh, run, I'll just let me sh I'll show you the other, co the other cover. So this is issue three and issue four. Here's White Fox, who's another, uh, she's a Korean shapeshifter, spy type character. So there are a number of one shots that came out of it. So this one highlighted Crescent and Isle, that's the little girl and the bear. And these have an extremely small print run. From what I could see, these had 18,000, 15,000 print run. So here's one here, that's the cover A. This is another uh, cover B, I guess we consider. I really like this one. And then um, I have three of these, one in 25. So once again, quick math, you know, if there's 18,000, which is the high number I found, one in 25 means there's only, you know, 
around 600 of these. Uh, so they did a number of those. So for example, here's the one for Luna Snow. She's the one with frost powers. And here is the one in 25. So you're looking at around, you know, five to 600 of these. Um, and you can pick these up for relatively cheap. There is Virgin variants, one in 100 of the covers. And I've seen some sets that you can buy. They are spendy. Uh, but once again, quick math, one in 100 basically means there's only going to be 150 of those. So that might be something you would want to look at. And here's White Fox. Once again, there is a Virgin variant of this, one in 100. And White Fox's first appearance was not in that uh, New Agents of Atlas. White Fox's first appearance is in this Contest of Champions, number one. If you use the Key Collector app, you can just put in White Fox and find this one. Very, very cheap book. You could probably find it in Dollar Bins and whatnot. Uh, the two characters that Marvel seemed to be invested more in because they have an ongoing series was Arrow and Swordmaster. So this is the first Swordmaster. Uh... And, you know, this first one had a 42K print run. So not that big, not 18,000 like the other ones, but relatively small. And so you can pick this up for relatively cheap. This is the cover A. This is the one in 25. And I have a couple of the one in 50s, which would Quick math, be a relatively rare book, which is a great one. Uh, Arrow is another one that is an ongoing series that they have invested in. This is the art term. That's a cover B, actually. This is the cover A here. There are um, incentive variants, obviously, for these two. I don't have those. So another major player who ends up, quote unquote, you see quite a bit of him is Braun or Totally Awesome Hulk. So I don't have the first uh, appearance of him, which is Amazing Fantasy 15. Don't be uh, confused with the Spider-Man one, but that's something you can look for. That's a little bit spendy, uh, but you can pick up his first solo, which would be this, Totally Awesome Hulk number one. That's the cover A. Uh, I'm unclear what this is. I think it's the one, one in 110, one in 25. I've heard different things, but it isn't a variant cover, which I think is awesome. And then this is the one in 25. This is a little bit harder one to find, but could be one you could grab. And then uh, probably the one with the most people know most about uh, would be Shang-Chi. This is his first appearance in from 1973. Uh, and his movie's coming out, as everybody knows. So if, for example, Jimmy Woo is in that movie, seems like he's interested in forming an Asian uh, superhero team, you know all these books are going to pop. So grab them while you can. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Talk to you next time.